Hello everyone, today I will bring you a BL music short drama close friend the series, many of the CPs we are familiar with are combined here. That being said, Orville and Megan are a couple and will soon be celebrating their third anniversary together. On this day, Megan was sitting on the sofa studying English, and Orville received a call from a friend. The new singer Mark invited Orville to make a song, which made Megan and Orville very excited and hugged happily. Soon, Orville came to Mark S. creative team for a meeting with his ideas. Everyone seemed quite satisfied, but when the staff asked Mark S. opinion, they found that Mark was not in the room at all, but walked in from the outside with sleepy eyes. Mark S. obviously out of state attitude left Orville a little speechless, but Mark didn't make any sense, and things went smoothly. In a blink of an eye, Orville and Mark started making music together. At first, Mark was a little dismissive took the guitar and played a chord by himself, but he didn't expect Orville to like it very much, and hummed a few lyrics. And these two words just happened to touch Mark S. heart, and the two hit it off and started a pleasant creative journey. Orville, who was obsessed with work, missed Megan S. call at this time. The night passed quickly, and it was dawn before Orville returned home, and Megan failed to contact the other party, and waited for him on the sofa all night, looking at Orville who had a hard night. Megan felt very distressed. Orville also patted Megan's head affectionately, touched by the fact that Megan had been waiting for him. Just when the atmosphere was just right and the lips of the two were getting closer and closer, Orville suddenly interrupted and asked Megan to take a shower. And then she was so red to go to class. Later, Orville started making music with Mark and even helped each other bring headphones. What is the situation? Is a third party about to appear? Fortunately, at this time, Megan called, breaking the somewhat strange atmosphere. Megan told Orville that she was going out drinking with friends. Although Orville was unhappy, it didn't stop him, but when Mark asked if it was his partner who called, Orville chose to deny it and just said it was his brother. The next morning, while Orville was working from home, Megan walked in from outside. It turned out that he went out to drink last night and didn't return all night, which caused a quarrel between the two. Orville thinks Megan is too focused on work and neglects herself. Knowing that the two of them would not live together, Orville became even angrier when he heard that. The atmosphere between the two became tense in an instant, so Orville had to turn around and adjust himself to avoid a more troublesome quarrel. In the end, Megan hugged Orville from behind and promised not to go out to drink again, and the two reconciled as before. In a blink of an eye, the music production of Orville and Mark became more and more smooth and the song also took a rough shape. The two appreciate each other more and more. Megan on the other side looked at the photo with Orville, thinking that today is the third anniversary of the two of them, but Orville seems to have completely forgotten about this matter. Still discussing music and lyrics with Mark, thinking of many couples who used to love but have changed, perhaps in some respects. This is also a reflection of myself. It was still raining outside the window. Megan waited and waited but still couldn't wait for Orville to come back. Finally, he couldn't bear it and called. But before Megan could speak, Orville hung up the phone on the grounds that he was busy with work. The production of the song finally came to an end. Mark S. team listened to the music produced by the two and gave satisfactory answers. But at this moment, Megan suddenly pushed the door open, only to see Orville who was about to drink. It was really irritating. <laughs> Megan asked Orville sadly, is this the world of adults? Yet worried about sabotaging Orville's work. Immediately, he expressed that he was a fan of Mark, then turned and left. Orville had to apologize to everyone, and then chased them out. The senior didn't expect that the kid Orville came up and asked, why are you hiding from me? Did you forget about the third anniversary? <laughs> Megan must be so sad. Megan was very frustrated and asked Orville if her love for herself had changed. But Orville actually said, or just separate for a while. What? Orville, what are you talking about? You don't even want a boyfriend anymore. Do you? But Megan disagreed. He didn't want the two of them to be like this, but he was no longer sure whether Orville still loved him. At this time, Orville can finally speak properly. He told Megan that his love has never changed. And he kissed her. Megan and Orville hugged each other through tears. After talking about Megan and Orville, let's move on to the next story. On a rainy day, Marty was about to go out, 
but found a box at the door with a note attached. Marty opens the box, not expecting to find a cat inside, and their owner can't take it away. So, Marty decided to take it in and named it Martin, but what Marty doesn't know is that Martin, despite being a cat on the surface, is actually a cute big boy. The cohabitation life of one person and one cat officially kicked off. Marty will bathe and feed Martin, and Martin will grab food from Marty's bowl. If Marty doesn't give it to him, Martin will activate the kitten's skills and go directly to grab it. Although it was a mess, Martin ate to his heart's content, and then stuck to his master's heart and began to act like a baby. But unexpectedly, the owner was thinking about neutering Martin. What's the matter? Run, Martin. Before Martin could escape, Marty smelled the kitten. Sure enough, cats need baths too. So, Marty dragged Martin to the bathroom, but all cats don't like to take a bath. They struggle while taking a bath, and the water is thrown all over the room. Then, it struggled like other cats and refused to blow its fur. After a set of procedures, Marty's back hurts from exhaustion, while Martin just wants to kiss his master after taking a comfortable bath. But as soon as the man and the cat approached, they were pulled away by Marty, but lying on the owner's chest was also a very happy thing. On a weekday morning, the alarm clock rang and Martin woke Marty up. Fortunately, he was working at home, otherwise Marty would be late. When the colleagues in the video saw Martin, they couldn't help calling him cute. But how did the kitten know so many people? He slapped a cat's paw directly, and the video almost ended. Marty had to take a break and feed her kittens first. So, one person and one cat started a food tug of war again. Then cat food was flying all over the sky, and the Tsundra kitten became angry. But what bad thoughts can a kitten have? The delicious food given by the owner can easily capture Martin's heart. He is instantly happy, and then starts acting like a baby again, begging for kisses. Sure enough, he was rejected by the master man again. The kitten got angry again and was coaxed by Marty's comfort again. It acted like a baby next to its owner, wandered around, waited for Marty's work to finish, and took herself to buy delicious food. But after Marty finished work, it was a bit late, so he discussed with Martin whether to buy it another day. Martin could speak. The phone rang and a friend invited Marty to the coffee shop, and Marty agreed without saying a word. Martin also thought that the owner was going to buy snacks for himself and happily wagged his tail at home. But I didn't expect that after a long time. Marty still didn't come back. Martin had to watch the clock and waited at home lonely. At this time, the door suddenly opened, and Marty came back, but there was a girl behind him. Martin was stunned for a moment. What's going on? And the girl wanted to touch herself. So the cat got angry and attacked directly. Then, the girl was honorably injured and Marty ignored Martin and took the girl to be disinfected. Suddenly, Martin sneezed, and Xiao Wei also sneezed. Unexpectedly, this young lady is also allergic to cat fur. Then, Marty asked Martin to get away with a particularly fierce attitude. This attitude really hurt the kitten's heart. That's not all. Next, Marty threw Martin straight into the bathroom. At first, Martin struggled, then got sadder and quieter. Marty outside the door also felt a little guilty, so he sent Xiao Wei away, and then walked into the bathroom, but Martin didn't want to talk to the master. After all, his indifferent attitude before was too sad, but no cat can hate its owner. Marty stroked Martin's head reassuringly, and Martin had already loosened up a bit, and the sentence I love you made Martin forgive the other party again, and snuggled into the arms of the master. Then one person and one cat seemed to return to the state where there was no future invasion. They snuggled up to each other, accompanied each other, and fell asleep together, plain and warm. On the other side at this time, a poor and lovely person is working hard for his lover. Today, on the school's orientation day, the sports club is having a judo competition. The contestant Yusef was struggling with his opponent, but in the end he was defeated and fell to the ground, before falling down. Yusuf glanced at the competition area, saw his senior and coach Abel, and was puzzled in his heart, not knowing how he got to this point. Time went back to the orientation day one and a half months ago. Yusuf prepared to go home silently by himself. At this time, the seniors of the physical education department rushed out to stop him, hoping that he would participate in the freshman sports meeting. However, 
Yusef thought twice in his mind, because he was not good at all kinds of sports and was easy to make a fool of himself, so he just wanted to refuse the request. But how could the senior allow the junior to shrink back? So, with a wave of his hand, he assigned Yusef to the judo club, the one with only one Abel. Just when Yusef was still struggling, Abel rushed over, firmly grabbed Yusef's hand, and signed the application for membership. Then, he took Yusef to the training room. Yusef knew nothing about judo, had no foundation, looked at the empty classroom, and he was the only one. Quitting came to his mind again, but the request he just made was interrupted by the vicious-looking Abel. It turned out that if Yusef did not participate in the freshman competition, the entire club would be cancelled. Therefore, Abel made up his mind to train this junior well, and a cowardly junior would definitely not dare to resist, nor could he resist a senior with super fighting power. Thus, the one-on-one -on -one training officially kicked off. Sure enough, all martial arts start with being thrown, and Yusef was thrown all kinds of ways when he came up, and then pulled up and fell again making his whole body sore and miserable. So, Yusef wanted to run away again, but how could Abel allow him to slip away? Yusef was taken back to training again, from running to jumping rope to jumping steps. Abel designed a series of sports training for Yusef. Although Yusef dared not speak out, his physical strength has obviously improved a lot, and he has gradually become accustomed to being pulled by Abel to train at any time and any place. The tense relationship between the two seems to have eased a little. Yusef ran behind the senior, smiling more and more sweetly. Even in daily training where he was thrown badly, Yusef felt differently. So, he had no choice but to comfort himself. Maybe he was too tired, but he ignored another possibility. He might be tempted. <laughs> so, under various circumstances, Yusef finally couldn't help it anymore, and asked the senior, give up, knowing that you will lose, why don't you give up? But in fact, Abel never thought that Yusef could beat himself, he has been training like this since he was 6 years old, and he is about to graduate from senior year, but he has not yet achieved any results, seeing that the usually so good senior suddenly became depressed, Yusef was a little caught off guard, so he could only comfort him clumsily. Abel seemed a little unexpected, and stared at Yusef. At this glance, Yusef once again noticed a different feeling, but the ambiguous atmosphere disappeared quickly, and Abel asked Yusef to quit the company, that is to defeat himself. What? Yusef, the little white rabbit, beat the big bad wolf? Anyway, no matter whether they can or not, Yusef and Yusef set up a judo posture, and then started the cycle mode of falling down, getting up falling down again, and getting up again, just when Yusef thought that Yusef would definitely lose and it was impossible to beat Abel. Yusef threw Abel down with an over-the-shoulder throw and won miraculously, and Abel didn't think about overturning the promise, but turned his head lonely and frustrated. But at this moment, Yusef actually stopped Abel and told him that he would like to try it in the freshman sports meeting. Abel was very happy when he heard that. He rushed forward and wanted to hug Yusef, but he restrained himself again and again. Finally, the day of the freshman sports meeting came. Yusef participated in the competition as a member of the judo club, and Abel cheered and cheered on, but the difference in strength between the two sides was obviously too great, and Yusef was thrown to the ground by the opponent without paying attention, ending this ridiculous game that Yusef shouldn't have participated in. Abel rushed up quickly after seeing Yusef fall. Even though he lost the game, seeing Yusef working so hard, he still couldn't help laughing. Looking at it like this, although Yusef lost the game, he may have won the love. <laughs> Immediately afterwards, Abel left the field with Yusef on his back. Walking on the campus boulevard, he was still describing the moment Yusef was thrown, and Yusef also realized how much Abel usually takes care of him. So Yusef was very curious, whether he won because he deliberately let him, and how could Abel admit it like a straight man, he admits very seriously that it was a fluke. So Yusef believed it, and he was very happy, and so was Abel, the happy shadows of the two stretched longer and longer in the sun.